Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and this is Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, where we are apparently having a baby cow. Aww, sweet! You are going to be called Lunette? Yep, welcome to the family, little Lunette. And we're also having a baby pink rabbit. Cute. We will call you Cherry. Welcome to the family, little Cherry. It is day 27 of autumn and we have two birthdays today, Lars and Marion. I'll have to remember to take them something. What should we take them? Maybe we could also take something for Clemens. We so rarely give him anything and we'll be stopping by there to, to give something to Lars anyway. So yeah, let's make two batches of chocolate cookies and give one to Clemens and the other to Lars. I think that'll be nice. Good morning, Snowdrop. For some reason, I didn't see Magnolia there. I just assumed that she was already outside. When, in fact, she was still in bed. So I kind of went and search, searched for her for a while. But then I eventually realized that she was probably still indoors and went back for her. Good morning, Magnolia. Let's go for a walk. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to sell these things out of my inventory. And uh, get my stuff from this chest. Let's just take everything. Well except for the fodder. The fodder actually belongs here. And maybe separate these flowers from the rest because these are the ones we are still making seeds out of and we don't want to be gifting them to people. Yeah, that's fine. And speaking of flowers and seeds, we didn't check the seed makers yesterday. So there's also some honey there, but some flower seeds as well. Next, I think we'll make some of these, these, um, Hibiscus seeds 
and uh, I totally blanked here and accidentally made some or put some more petunia seeds into the making. Didn't actually mean to make uh, two batches of them. Ooh, new title. Adept Beekeeper. So let's see. Pansy is for spring and Petunia is for summer. So Pansy seeds go in here. And let's also put the flower in there as well. Petunia seeds go in here. And we'll put the flowers there too. And this is where I realized that uh, I had put the wrong flower in here to be made into seeds. This is the only way I know of to cancel a craft in, in a maker. So let's do that and uh, make some lily seeds. We'll put the rest of the petunias in here as well. The lilies are kind of still waiting for identification on, on which season they belong to. So we'll keep them in our inventory for now. Let's make some more honey. like so and we'll also harvest these and these are not quite ready to be harvested yet i hope they will be tomorrow because if not well tomorrow is going to be the last day of autumn and if, if they're not ready then, then they will, uh, they will die come winter. So here I was kind of considering what to do with the different star qualities of flowers. And I decided that I would just gift or sell the inferior star quality flowers. So that we only have one star quality of each flower in here at a time. Right. We've got some flowers and uh, some food and some cookies, so let's get going. Give some cookies to the brothers and uh, flowers to whoever else we happen to meet. Hi. Hello Jack. Hey Heather, wanna hang with me for a while? Forcing yourself to be productive all the time is no good for the noggin, you know. Have a flower. Mm. Not his favorite, but I kind of knew that already. Hello, Angela. Ah. I have a flower for you too. Nobody else seems to be here. What about in here? Hello, Bridget. Domesticated animals, wild animals. I love them all. 
have a flower. Patricia. I have a flower for you as well here. Actually, now that the baby animals have been born, I guess we could get some more babies into the making. Olive, you could have a baby. And why not? Some baby chicks do. Well, one more baby chick. I think that the current baby chick we have there is going to be a four star silky chicken. So let's get a five star normal chicken into the making. Right, let's go and see Nigel. Yeah, let's do that. We so rarely give him anything. Hello, Nigel. You gotta take advantage of sunny days and get outside. Well, depending on your line of work, that is. Have a flower. Oh, Jesse and Simon, hello. Seeing Jack reminds me of my younger days. That's nice. Jesse, hi. Angela is such a smart girl. She is too. I actually meant to give that to Jesse. Here you go. Right. Now for the brothers here. Hello, Clemens. Hey. Have a cookie. <laughs> or actually a batch of them. Is your brother around? I don't see him. Let's go and uh, find out where he's gone to. Oh, Dosetsu, hi. You're composing a haiku. Iori. I have some mushrooms for you. I detect some sort of presence near the forest spring. I sense no ill will from it, at least, which may mean that it is a type of guardian spirit. Mm. Well, you would be right about that. It is. Hello, Lars. <laughs> I want to go into the mountains and see all the autumn foliage. Here, have some cookies. <laughs> Yeah, I did remember your birthday. And it'll soon be winter, so... You should get on that. That, uh, trip to the mountains. While there's still some autumn foliage to be seen. Title rewards. Honey High Roller. Fledgling beekeeper and adept beekeeper. Nice. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Hello, Damon. Yeah. I'm sure you know, but morning's the busiest time for animal caretakers like us. By the afternoon, the animals just wander around and relax outside. 
Oh, I need to go take care of my animals too. But first, before I forget, let's buy some mushroom spores. We are running a bit low, I think. Well, at least we are running a bit low on Shimeji mushrooms, which are the ones that we keep giving Iori. And we'll also top up our fodder situation. Couldn't hurt to do that. Especially with winter on the way. Lots of snowy days in winter. Thank you for the right moonbeam. That's some of today's socialization complete. Oh yeah, I was going to give that food as presents. Let's just sell it to get it out of the inventory. We'll also get more inventory space by... by uh, processing that honey hive or those honey hives. And planting those mushroom spores. Three and four. Right. Now to take care of our animals. It's high time, it's already 2 p.m. We'll put the uh, this stuff in here once again so that it's out of the way and of course the fodder there as well seeing as it actually belongs in this chest clear the yard and uh, go see those animals Hello, Daisy. Hello. Dandelion. Willow. Ash. Cherry. Blossom, Acacia, Fern, and Ophelia. Thank you all so much for the wool and fur. Come on out. Hello Columbine, Rosemary, Tansy, Lunette, Wisteria, Olive Rose Thank 
you all so much for the milk. Come on out. And since a lot of our stuff is in that chest there, we have plenty of room to pick up the eggs as well. Just as soon as we get rid of this bit of grass here. Hello sunflower. Buttercup. Hairbell. Orchid. Aster. Mimosa. Clover. And chamomile. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Come on out. Now to process all of these animal products. Milk. Into cheese and butter. Yeah, we're getting way less milk now. That we got rid of a few of our milk animals. Well... On the, uh, on the bright side, we have lots of room for cute little animal babies. Right, that's done. Now for the wool and fur. We did get quite a lot of it. White rabbit fur. Alpaca wool, ordinary sheep's wool, grey rabbit fur, pink rabbit fur, and brown alpaca wool. The uh, Suffolk sheep wool will have to wait a bit to be processed. Let's Put these in here, right? And the uh, brown alpaca wool plus in here. We already have six of it. The grass in there. And, uh, oh, cocoa powder. I guess it's about time to get making something for Marion. What do we want to make her? Maybe some brownies? Yeah, let's make her some brownies. We'll even top them with the coffee powder. And done. I... As, as we are going out sailing anyway, let's also take a trip to the Twilight Isle. Give some coffee to Moria. And some, some quiche to Lizette. And let's top it with the eggplant. The Tigre. I 
I guess we could try banana milk? It may be that he just doesn't like any of the drinks. But let's try the banana milk. We've never made it, so I don't think we've ever tried giving it to him. Ah, almost forgot about the banana, Baludus. I want to give him one and see how he reacts to it. He did say he was especially fond of them. Alright, off we go. We have a couple of hours before before it gets to 10 o'clock. I think it's 10 p.m. when everybody goes to bed. Hello, Marian. I've been living here by the oasis far longer than the others. If there's anything you want to know about the area, feel free to ask me, honey. I will. A birthday present for me? Why, Heather, you're so thoughtful. This calls for a hug of gratitude. Big hugs. Ah, hello, Giorgio. Have a nice night. Onwards to the Twilight Isle. I want to get there before everybody goes to bed. Hello, Lotus. Here's a banana for you. Wow, I love this. Did you pick it out just for me? Mahalo, Heather. Oh, you're welcome. Tigra, I have some banana milk for you. See how you like it? Not really. Okay. Well, at least we know that Moria and Lisette will like the uh, gifts we've got for them. Lisette? Howdy. Green gems like emeralds are my very favorite. They're like plants that never wither. Alright, I'll have to try and remember that. I don't think I have any green gems right now. Hmm. Clearly, one of these days I'll have to venture into the mine again and try to get low enough to get to the levels where we can find emeralds. Let's sell these processed animal products and that stone. Put the egg into the fridge. And then we'll go see if we can process that Suffolk wool yet. Not quite yet. Fine. These are done though. Well, the lumber is at least. 
and the iron and orichalcum ingots too. Let's put the ingots in here. We need five more orichalcum ingots to complete that quest. And now that the lumber makers are empty, let's make some more mirage lumber. That's 23. All right. Not bad. And I just remembered I was going to process some diamonds too. Some raw diamonds into uh, into processed diamonds. So let's do that. We can make 20 of them. Oh, put that in the right place and make some room for the processed diamonds next to it. Nice. Can we now process that Suffolk wool? Yes, as soon as we find a maker that only had one wool to process. Here's one. Okay, let's put the yarn balls in here. Oh, right, we need to put that into the fridge and get our stuff from here. I almost forgot. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it is a very handy system. So I'm going to keep doing this. Like so. Now let's go indoors and end our walk. Wish our cats good night. Put that cocoa powder into the fridge. And head upstairs and call it a day ourselves too. So thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, Please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.